Number 18, figure 27.56 shows a double slit located at a distance x from a screen with the distance from center of the screen given by y. When the distance d between the slits is relatively large, there will be numerous bright spots called fringes. Show that for small angles where sine of theta is approximated to just be theta with theta in radians, the distance between the fringes is given by blah. All right, so um, we're just going to kind of run through this. So just assume over here that, um, you know, this is constructive interference. There's a bright spot here and a bright spot there. So I can create a formula for the bright spot here. We can say it's d sine theta uh, equals m lambda. And then we can create an equation for this. All right, at that particular point, we can say that's d now sine of theta of m plus 1 is going to be equal to then m plus 1 times lambda, all right? I really I probably should put that in parentheses. So in order to find now the distances between these two points, I can basically then subtract these two equations from one another. In other words, when I do that, it's going to be d sine then of theta m plus 1 minus then d sine theta of m will then be equal to m plus 1 times lambda minus then m lambda, okay? So essentially now what happens here is, uh, you know, we can, we can do this in a couple of ways. It depends on, right, we can take out the d here. We can then write sine of theta m plus 1 minus then sine of theta of m will then be equal to, uh, you know, depending upon how you want to look at this now, we can factor out the lambda. So this would just be m plus 1 and then minus m, right? Minus m. Notice then the m's would cancel, okay? And we would be left with now this. This is d now. Now these sine theta, they're telling us just it would be approximately equal to theta, okay? Now since these are so small, we can just basically consider them mostly you know, equal to one another, more or less. That, I know you might say, well, an equal number minus an equal number is going to be zero. But what I'm trying to say here is that the differences here between these are so, so, so small that we're just going to call this, and the angle so, so, so small, that we're just going to now finally reduce this on down, simplify to just theta, okay? And that's then going to equal now the, uh, just lambda, all right, because the M is canceled. So now what I can do is I can maybe divide out the D from both sides, <clears throat> and now I have a, an equation here for, for lambda, okay? This is, will be in radians. Now, what I want to do, I realize that I have my lambda and the d in the right position, but now I need to somehow incorporate my y and the x. So I realize if I'm talking about that angle, we can then t call upon the tangent because it's the opposite divided by the adjacent side. So for, therefore, that's y over x. But now, if tan of theta... It, if we're assuming, right, this is really small, the tan of theta is basically going to be very, very, very close to the just, basically just theta, right? So in essence, theta here is going to be equal to y over x, and what I can then do is take this and then plug that on in, okay? When I do that, it's then y over x is equal to then lambda over d, Cross multiply that x, and therefore we're going to have x lambda over d. And there's that formula. All right. So, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope that helped. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.